behold the district of Peak View, named after its view of peaks. It's Dead Man's Drop, the appointed place for the reading of the wool. Really is incredible. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to hurry things along. I'm just getting quite hot now. OK. I, Stanley Basil Oakley, being of sound mind and body. So, sorry, sorry. Can we just jump ahead to the allocation of assets, Vic? Uh, to my continuing ray of sunshine, my beloved stepdaughter, Daisy Munro. That's so nice, isn't it? Mm. Beloved? He was a sensitive man, Stanley. And nephew, Louis Oakley. Uh, you know, more straight to the point there, more of a masculine approach. I mean, he was both sensitive and masculine. The, um, I leave equal shares to my estate. Do with it what you will. Here you go. Well, that, that's it. Yeah. Sorry, you brought us all the way up here to tell us to do with it what you will. Ah, uh, thank you, Vic. We appreciate your efforts. Um, but you didn't mention money. Money? Yes, well, Stanley had funds, <laughs> as well as wine tree thingies. Yeah, I think vines is probably the term you're looking for, Madam Vintner. Vic, money? Well, not as such. It's the property. Plus two workers, Tippy and Gus, a tractor, two cars, actually one of them's only fully functional at the moment, and a three-legged cat called Pussy Galore. Yes, but, <laughs> but he had money. I mean, he, he always had a lot of money. Well... It's wine-making for you. A great way to alleviate oneself of the burden of the fortune. Oh, I, f I feel sick. 